so you just have two weeks left. Gather all your photos you store on hard drives or whatever and back them up right away. So keep watching to know what I'm talking about. If you're new to this channel, my name is Sankyu you and I make tech videos. So if you're someone who does like tech, do consider subscribing. Alright then, let's get to the video. So what am I talking about? You may be very familiar with this already, but if you back up your photos using Google Photos, it's bad news. Until now, there were free unlimited backups for high quality photos to Google Photos and notice the emphasis on high quality photos. Yes, there are two types of storage methods for Google Photos, original quality and high quality. Original quality would take any type of photos and videos you back up, but the backed up content would amount to your Google Drive storage. Whereas high quality photos would back up photos and videos, but with a few differences. First up, it would back up your images at up to 16 megapixels, and if your image is higher res than that, it would scale it down to 16 megapixels. And for videos, it's quite the same story. It would scale your videos to 1080p. But the best part about this was it was all free. Until now. Here's the official statement about this from Google. Starting from June 1st, 2021, any new photos and videos you upload would count towards the 15 gigs of free storage that comes with every Google account or the additional storage you've purchased as a Google One member. So if you already use Google Photos for a while, you may have seen these pop-ups saying that your Google Drive storage is gonna amount for your photo backups. But one thing, if you read this official Google blog post from November 1st, 2020, it clearly states one thing. Existing high quality photos and videos are exempt from this change. Any photos and videos you have uploaded on high quality before June 1st, 2021 would not count towards your 15 gigs of free storage. This means that photos and videos that were backed up before June 1st, 2021 will still be considered free and exempt from the storage limit. Isn't that great? So you can basically exploit this system right now, like right now. And as I said in the beginning of this video, you have to act quick because we have less than two weeks left. So let's see the steps you have to take to back up all your photos. If you already have Google Photos on your phone, make sure to open settings and check if your upload quality is set at high quality. And ba start backing up your photos by long pressing and select backup photo. If that photo has not been backed up before. Since Google Photos has auto backup, most of your photos would have been backed up by now. You can turn on auto backup again at settings if you want to. If you use iCloud to back up your photos, the process does take a while. All you gotta do is head over to this website linked in the description below. This is an official Apple tool, so there are no risks involved. Anyway, it lets you transfer your iCloud photo library to a Google Photos library and it's a pretty cool and simple tool to use to back up all your photos instead of wasting some gigabytes or even possibly terabytes from your iCloud storage. Cause photos are usually the biggest culprits of low storage on iCloud. But remember, this transfer process takes between 3 to 7 days due to some Apple privacy issues. So here's how you do it anyway. Open the link in the description below and then sign in with your Apple ID and then you would be given an option to transfer a copy of your data and you would be on this page where it asks you where would you like to transfer and you would see an option for Google Photos. Once you do select Google Photos, you get an option to select if you want to transfer only photos or only videos. So select what you want to do and continue and this would tell this is the amount that will be transferred and it says that it would be accounted for your Google Drive storage. But we can change that later once it has been backed up. Now select continue and you would be given an option to log into your Google account and then you have to grant Google permissions to transfer and allow you to do it and you would have one last option to confirm the transfer and this would take 3 days as I mentioned a few minutes back. But after a few days, once the process is complete, you can manually change the option like this in Google Photos so it takes up free storage instead of your Google Drive storage. Now if you have a huge library of photos and you want to back it up from your computer, head over to photos.google.com and select upload to directly upload all your photos and once it's done you have successfully uploaded all your photos from your computer. Now that's about it, you can easily back up your photos. But what if you want to continue using this feature after 1st of June? If you continue to use high quality backup, it would take up to 3 years to fill your Google Drive storage according to Google and they will let you know how much storage is left using a new free tool in the Photos app to easily manage your backed up photos and videos. This tool will help you review the memories you want to keep while also surfacing shots that you might want to delete like dark or blurry photos or even large videos. But here's another big twist. If you have a Pixel 2 or newer Pixel phone, so you don't have to worry about hitting the limit at all as this phones have a feature where it's allowed to upload unlimited original quality photos. This sounds like a way for Google to slowly make people buy their Pixel phones and subscribe to their Google One subscription. 
but that's not the main thing over here now if you personally ask me this way of google slowly removing free features it's kind of weird and if you have used the photo editor on google photos recently you may have noticed that google is putting a paywall behind even a few editing options now here's what i think google wants us to do ultimately and that's to subscribe to that google one subscription which is very similar to icloud so here's the pricing tier for the plans so the basic subscription of google one would cost you 199 dollars per month or 1999 dollars per year for the above mentioned price you would be getting 100 gigs of storage space google will allow you to also share this space with up to 5 members using a family plan if you want more there is also a 200 gigs storage plan which would be around 299 dollars per month or 2999 dollars per year if you want more than 100 or 200 gigs there's also a 2 tb cloud storage plan which is priced at 999 dollars per month or 99.99 dollars per year and as you go up to different tiers you do get additional benefits such as access to google experts and extra member benefits and last but not the least the above storage covers gmail google drive workspace and even google photos so basically here's the conclusion and that is google wants you to pay for its google one subscription if you want more storage for your photo backups you just have less than 2 weeks to upload free photos to google photos and as i mentioned a lot of times in this video don't miss this opportunity and start backing up your photos that's been it drop a like comment down your thoughts on google's policies and subscribe for some tech content This is thank you and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.